Hey guys, Jay here, and today I'm going to show you a chip trick shuffle variation called the palm shuffle. And it looks like this. Now, the way this came about was that I was working at home with my other job, and my wife, Lindsay, was also working at home. And while I was on the computer going through my emails, I was shuffling chips. Just regular shuffle, it's your nice standard shuffle. And it was too loud for my wife, so then she got mad, and um, I ended up just picking up my stack, and I was just holding on to my stack and trying to figure out ways of shuffling it. And I ended up doing this, and it is so therapeutic once you get the hang of it and you keep doing it. Um, it's like those Chinese medicine balls, honestly. So, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's actually a nice, easy trick that you can do. So, all right, so... Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so let's start with four chips. Um, I started with six, but for those of you that don't really do a lot of tricks, start with a nice easy pile. What you need to do is have the chips just arch like that, and they'll shuffle on their own for the most part. The good thing about this trick is that you can actually have them shuffle on their own as well. Now, the, the key is to get the the two sides split like so. And then when you're actually gonna do the shuffle, you're gonna push the ends of your thumb and uh, your pinky up to make that position so that they can shuffle on their own like that. Okay, so to get the split, what you wanna do is you want to create a break here in the middle and then turn your hand and drop the bottom half. So depend doesn't matter how many you have there, but the bottom half gets dropped and you kind of position them to the one side. Now what you want to do here is bring your index finger on top and push down so that you have it split like that. Now that's the perfect position for you to do this trick. Right. Now, by the way, I'm showing you with my left hand because I'm using the mouse with my right and I'm typing and doing everything else. So it's nice to have your non-dominant hand for this trick. All right, so you can do other things like make a coffee or write, okay? so. Anyways, once you get to the break, like I said before, what you want to do is have this half just pushing against this side of your pinky. And then this half kind of cradled here where your thumb is. Now, you're going to push the two stacks together and you'll see them go up in the middle. Now, to assist with that, when you have a bigger pile, you're going to use your middle finger and this part of your hand. And you'll see like when you kind of push a little bit, they will go up like so, okay? So you have it up a bit. You can see that there's already a little arch there, okay? So when I push in, you'll see that they actually separate on their own and shuffle, all right? That's what makes this trick nice and easy. So doesn't matter. You can do uh, four chips to start, and then once you feel comfortable or, you know, if you, if you feel like four isn't enough, then start with six, or move up to six, okay? Now again, starting over, let's create the break. I'm gonna drop that pile, bring it up to that side. Now what I do is, I can twist my thumb, and you can see this stack kind of move over, and then bring my index finger up, and then push it down so that you can hold your stack like that, okay? Once you're ready, you're gonna push on, yeah, you're gonna push inwards with your pinky and your thumb, up like so and then you'll see them actually break and shuffle on their own once you're there you can push them together like that turn around put them on the table you know it was too loud for my wife so I ended up just keeping it in my hand the whole time all right okay so add another two here's eight okay it's gonna look like this there you go then once you're comfortable with eight then go to ten and then there's your split okay and you can see them actually shuffle on their own, which is really, really easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, so once you have that split, you can see that I can hold the stack like that and kind of, you know, flip it over and have that control. Now, once I'm set, you can just push in like that, nice and light on the edges, and then they will shuffle on their own. And you'll be doing this everywhere once you get the hang of this. Okay. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And I, 
If this is the first time watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And if not, hey, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. All right, take care guys.